Welcome to yet another episode on Trend360 TV. So, on this particular episode today, we are not focusing on any basketball matter, but we want to just bring to the light and to the notice of everybody what the masses have called our attention to in the Nollywood industry. We all know, as we can clearly see and also hear of the constant death of Nollywood actors and actresses, especially in this 2024, and it's becoming very alarming to be honest. And a lot of people are beginning to question the industry. Like, a user clearly asked in a comment section, and I quote, he said, what is happening in Nollywood industry? Like, at this point, bar, you don't reach to ask. Because the intervals in their death are just lead to sometimes barely a month. Look at the case of Ade Jumoke. She died on the 6th of April. And after a couple of days, Junior Pope also passed on on the 10th as a result of the whole boat accident thing. 16th of June, Stella Ekwegbu died of leg cancer. In January, it was Deji Aderemi who also passed as a result of cancer. Ethel Ekbe and Jimmy Solanke both passed in February. As for Ethel Ekbe, she died as a result of cancer, like this same cancer, though Solanke's cause of death was not disclosed. How about Mr. Ibu, Amechi Munago, and Sisi Kadri that received the call back home in March, and the list keeps going on and on, and you're left to no option than to ask what exactly is wrong. We understand that death is inevitable. It's a door that everyone must pass through. See, eh, everybody could die one day on the norms. But it will interest you to know that the last days of some of these actors are horrible and pitiful. Okay, like their viewers already have this impression that these guys are rich. They are bastardly rich. But then you get to hear stops about them soliciting for funds before they passed on. There was no money for treatment, this and that. And you begin to wonder if these guys are only posing as rich people on the screen, but are actually dying silently on the inside. Or Nollywood is not paying them as they should for them to make ends meet or they are not standing for each other. It's really sad to see them go this way and it's reoccurring lately. Now, the big question here is, what is happening in the Nollywood industry? And to you, the viewers out there, what do you have to say or is the reason for all of this? Because it don't they look too abnormal. Tell us, make we hear on our own side of the matter too. Anyways, that is that for that and we have also come to the end of this episode on Trend360 TV and as you also drop your comments in the comment section, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay connected for more content as this.